Hello South Africa, today is Thursday August 24th here are the top 4 stories that have made the headlines. Springbok legend passes away in a car crash. Dianne Stoffberg, a legendary flanker and former Springbok captain, passed unexpectedly on Wednesday morning, just days before the 2023 World Cup. In a collision on Monday night on the R304 near Stellenbos involving two other vehicles, the 68-year-old sustained multiple injuries. Two killed for injured in gas explosion at Chwane Special School. Two people were killed while four others were injured following a fire incident resulting from a gas explosion at Zodwa Special School on Mond Street in Eterijevo, Chwane. The incident happened on Wednesday, August 23, 2023. City of Chwane Emergency Services Department spokesperson Deputy Chief Charles Mabeso said firefighters arrived on the scene to find a collapsed structure of container classrooms that was on fire. They were informed that one person was still trapped in the burning containers. Sasa R350 SRD grant, here are the payment dates for August. The South African Social Security Agency, Sasa, says payments for the 350 Rand Social Relief of Distress SRD grant beneficiaries who are approved for the month of August will be processed from 25, August 31, 2023. Sasa said during that week beneficiaries are encouraged to view their status on the SRD website for the exact date that payment will reflect into their bank accounts. More learners commit suicide by consuming poison at Sikane Secondary School. Gauteng Education Mac Matom Chiloane has expressed concern with the recent occurrence of suicides and suicidal attempts that have been prevalent at Sikane Secondary School. This comes as two girl learners in grade 8 and 12 from Sikin Secondary School allegedly consumed poison at their respective homes and unfortunately passed away on Monday, August 7 and Tuesday, August 8, 2023 respectively. China donates electricity equipment to South Africa. With an emphasis on connecting the two nations' common commitment to eco-friendly, low-carbon, and climate-resilient growth, South Africa wants to strengthen its energy cooperation with China. As important world leaders gather in Johannesburg for the 15th BRICS Summit in San Tan, Gauteng. President Cyril Ramaphosa welcomed President Xi Jinping on a state visit to Chuane on Tuesday. We pay cash for videos. WhatsApp 060-011-021-1 Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.